So people believe in God, but they cannot defend it. The concept of God is inherently irrational, and so are all of their arguments. But what if God really does exist? Is our position as atheists the correct one to take? And the answer is yes. Even if God exists, the correct position to take is that of rejection of the claim unless there is sufficient evidence that the claim is true. So even if the claim is true, the evidence is not there. So we have to take the default position and reject it. Now I was arguing with this stupid ass motherfucker. And he gave the argument that let's say back in the caveman days a caveman said germs exist these microscopic organisms exist but he didn't have any evidence to, to support it now he is correct germs do exist but he didn't have any evidence to support it should someone back in that day believe him and the answer is no without evidence the correct stance to take is that of a rejection of the claim until there is sufficient evidence to prove that the claim is valid so even though he's right the caveman is right there is no reason to believe him until he proves it. Now why is that? Why should we take the stance of skepticism even though the claim might be true? Because if you don't support your claim with evidence more often than not you are wrong. <laughs> now just because of the offhand chance that the person might be right doesn't mean that we should just accept it for the fuck of it. Okay? We have to have a way of discovering truth that is reliable and tenable and just taking someone's word for it is simply not a good path to truth. Um, to help illustrate my point, take a look at this image. Now what do you see here? You see a very peculiar uh, uh, astronomical phenomena. Look at the emission. It's square-shaped. It's a very, very strange emission. Usually in nature, we observe circular shapes, right? The emission should be circular. Whenever we see those kinds of weird uh, geometric shapes, that kind of indicates that maybe there's some artificial tampering going on. Now, I could assert without any kind of evidence that this star, that we don't have any explanation for why it's emitting this weird square shape, and we don't. There is no rational explanation for why it's emitting this shape. There's some ideas, but right now it's a mystery. Now, I could say that the reason for this is because it is done by... It, it, there is an ancient and advanced extraterrestrial civilization that inhabits the region around the star, and they built something similar to a Dyson sphere around their star in order to capture the energy from their local star and because of their interference, their artificial interference with this local star that has caused this the the emission spectra from that star to exhibit this square shape. Now, I could be 100% correct. One day in the future we will go visit the star using our faster than light space uh, starships and then we'll observe, oh, we'll, we'll see the the remains of this ancient civilization that has built this uh, structure around their star and then you know everyone would say yeah you know turns out Enigma Hood was right all along however is it right to believe me without any evidence as I'm asserting it right now the answer is no it's not right to believe me because I could be wrong I'm just, I don't have enough evidence to say for certain that this, this, this astronomical phenomena is due to artificial interference. I don't have enough evidence. I simply don't. It's just something that's kind of weird. And until we have better evidence, there's no reason to accept my baseless claim. So even if I'm right, the correct position is not to believe the claim until there is evidence that proves it. And that's exactly why we should not believe in God until there is evidence to prove it. And, I mean, honestly,